Hi everybody, so right now in the United States there is a shortage of surgical masks. So right now we're gonna be I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own. So I'm a former lab technician and this is a technique that we used to use whenever we had to deal with any hazardous compounds and there were none available because I don't know, things happen. So this is how basically every single surgical mask comes in three parts, three layers of fabric, with the outermost layer being uh, made out of a waterproof material. This is going to be the first physical barrier against any bacteria or pathogens that may come in contact with your body. The middle layer is made out of a melt blown non woven fabric. This is the filter. It comes in a metal grate. It's all packed in just to make sure everything is nice and sterile. And the innermost layer is a non absorbent, fa non -absorbent fabric, I'm sorry, which is the part that's actually going to be touching your face. So, I've already gotten everything out of their respective packaging. The um, So here I am taking it out of the package that I put it in. This is the filter and I've already cut it into the proper dimensions. All the dimensions are going to be in the description box below. Here are some rubber bands, a wire for the nose part and I'm just going to sterilize everything to the best of my ability with some hand sanitizer because we are also in a isopropyl alcohol shortage. So I'm just going to wipe everything down and hope for the best, but since these are going to be used for medical usage, just for personal use, it should be okay. So I'm going to be cutting two pieces of rubber band to the desired length that can so you can attach it to your face after, and uh, also cutting some wire and as well as layering the three fabrics on top of each other. Here I am just cutting off the excess and making sure everything is in the proper position. I put the outermost layer on the bottom then the filter and then the non-absorbent fabric on the top. So as you can see, this is just like a normal surgical mask and we're gonna be trying to emulate that. And here I am just wiping down my workstation and the vacuum sealer that's gonna be fusing all three fabrics together. And just cutting it to length, cutting it to size, and making sure everything is aligned. So here I am just making sure everything is aligned once again. And please make sure that the layer on the bottom is the outermost layer so i'm just gonna put in the uh wire in between everything because so the reason that the outermost layer has to be on the bottom when being vacuum sealed is because the other two the filter and the non-absorbent fabric those are the fabrics that are actually going to be melt melted together once i'm um, vacuum sealed and that's uh you just want to make sure that it doesn't stick to the vacuum sealer So the first side is done with the wire inside, which is going to be attached to the nose area. And I'm just going to repeat this process for the other three sides and using a sterile, uh, a sterile, any hard, hard object can do just to make sure everything stay in place. And once again, just making sure that the layer on the bottom is the outermost layer so it doesn't melt against the sealer. Alright, so gonna do this two more times and then we'll be all set all right you can see that the fabric there's gonna be an indentation there which shows that it's all sealed and this is just the last side making sure everything's in place and then just sealing it all right so we're all set and we just need to cut off all the excess fabric on the sides and then we can assemble the mask itself all right, you can see the grooves of the filter, and we're just gonna try to define these grooves. The grooves are also part of the reason why the filter works because it's gonna be another physical barrier, just like these professional masks have. They have these grooves that they're folded into after, just to make sure the filter works properly. And I'm just gonna be cutting off a small piece and hot gluing it together to make sure that the filter stays in the groove. So I'm just hot gluing it on both sides and making sure that the the mouth of the hot glue gun isn't touching the fabric, just the glue, so it doesn't melt any fabric that we don't want to be melted. And I'm just going to repeat that for the other side, flipping it around and um, gluing the, uh, those grooves as well. And making sure everything's nice and set. And we're doing the last one right here. And pressing it down so here I am just attaching the rubber band with a little bit of hot glue and then pressing it down with another piece of non absorbent fabric and securing that in place with my knife so here are all my completed masks 
Um, I'm going to be handing these out to the el elderly residents in my neighborhood. They are very at risk. Uh, these aren't completely sterile because we lack, th these weren't made in a professional setting and we also lacked isopropyl alcohol. Here I am just putting it on, making sure everything's all set. Thank you for watching. Bye.